everybody welcome back to prayer joy paper crafts i have a project share for you today yes believe it or not actually a project share i finished something i did something um and it's actually a halloween project go and figure if we actually got something done in time it's absolutely crazy so let's go ahead and get started and i will show you this cute little mini album All right, so um, if you've been around for a little while, you know that I have been working on finishing up some bases uh, from scrap chipboard that I had in my stash. And they've been super great to just knock out six by six paper, knock out that scrap chipboard, and just get some really good, easy projects done. Like these are gonna be great to take to the craft fair and use up like stuff that I've got laying around. So this is what this is. This is one of those uh, little bases that I, had left over and I'm actually, believe it or not, going to show you guys the measurements for all of this. So if you want to do a tutorial, um, there is one coming, I think, or you already saw it. I can't remember when this video is gonna be scheduled. I think the project uh, tutorial is coming and I'm sure you can probably already see it on there, but uh, this is all of the measurements for you guys for this album and it is super, um, friendly in measurements so go ahead and screenshot that if you would like that but this is exactly how I made it this is a diagram of the uh, paper and how to cut it so that you can make those L uh, hinge pages with the top loading pockets and then now that you've screenshotted hopefully that these are the inserts for the pockets so following this it should all work but like I said there is a tutorial coming it's just not with as friendly of measurements so there's all the measurements for this one. So this one is made from two years ago, uh, Frank Garcia's Halloween collection that was Twilight. And we've got all the fun ephemera on it. These are, I believe, even the matching flowers. If not, these are just another um, Frank Garcia Prima flowers matching collection. But we've got all of the fun little goodies on there, all like popped up and fun stuff. Um, in the background, I've got a die from Scrap Diva Designs and Erica over there at ScrapDivaDesigns.com to do the spider web that's hidden underneath there. So also, if you don't have any of these, go over to Scrap Diva Designs and get yourself some dies that are phenomenal. And then I've got uh, stickles just on there. I thought it needed a little pop. And then we've got our spine, which if you took a screenshot of those measurements, I highly recommend for having two signatures that you do an inch and a half. This is a one inch spine, but the inch and a half will give your signatures a little bit more room to wiggle. So I should have only done one signature, but I had already built everything to do too. And then I've got everything matted on glitter card stock and I did not punch them out. Some people will punch um, shapes out of there so that they're not wasting their glitter card stock because it's expensive but i do not need to be hoarding anything else i am okay letting this go so there's all of that and here i've got this funky ribbon i just wanted to try something different i would have preferred i could have sworn that i had eyelash ribbon like black eyelash ribbon and i don't so this is just like funky ribbon that i picked up in a um like ribbon grab bag and so on the inside we've got all of our little little friends, little ephemera. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I left these open to be able to tuck anything in, but I put them on there. And then we've got all of these cute little flaps with magnets. I tried to leave it as open as possible on the insides. So, cause these are not the best size for pictures, but if I put any more ephemera on here, it would have been really full. And I wanted you to have the most room to do pictures on it. So the only ephemera is really on the front of those pockets. And then we've got top loading, photo mats in here and because I didn't have like fun ribbon I didn't put a normal like punch and then do ribbon on the top like I would do and then I did little pockets on the back of all these and this is where I used a lot of that ephemera was just to use these as fun little pieces that were in here so I didn't have to make my own like photo mats because I hate that part I hate doing the decorating I love the construction piece I'm super good with just the um the mass production piece uh when it comes to the actual like decorating piece i am struggle bussing so 
There's your two signatures, and like I said, I don't love the one inch spine, because I don't know if you guys can see it, but you only get these two little pieces here, and it makes this front one not very happy to be like butted up on the cover. And then they're exactly the same. That's usually how I do these mini ones, is I leave them the exact same for every signature, so I don't have to think very hard, and then I'm able to just like mass mat. And then just more of these cute little ephemera pieces, and I only used the one pack of ephemera. I didn't even bother to open it. I do think I left. Nope, I did put that down. Uh, so that's just that little cute little guy there for you guys. I wanted to show you I'm actually doing a project <laughs> and getting stuff done and getting used up. These are, like I said, these are awesome for your six by six paper because you get through a lot of pages and are able to use a lot of your six by sixes, use up that ephemera, get all the goods done. Um, but yeah, we actually got a cute little project done for once around here. And there are more coming. Like I said, the tutorial for how to do this is also coming. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next crafty video.